This is the 20th Annual Endurance Live Awards Gala. Hi, I'm Ann Wessling, coming to you from Club Nokia right here in LA. The best and brightest names in triathlon, cycling, and running are going to be honored tonight. Presented by Refuel Got Chocolate Milk. Tonight's other sponsors include Tier, The Active Network, and Chewbacca. This is the 20th Annual Endurance Live Awards Gala. How are you guys doing? Good evening. Welcome to the 20th anniversary of Endurance Live, my favorite night of the entire year. Presented by Refuel Got Chocolate Milk, my co-host this evening, the host of Tri-Center, the world's number one triathlon news show. Please give it up for Ann Wessling. Hey, Bob. Beautiful. Thanks Thank for you. Having me. Annie, in this room tonight. 15 Ironman World Championship titles are represented here. One Badwater Ultra Marathon Championship. Two FIFA Women's World Cup titles. North of 25 marathon wins and 35 Paralympic and Olympic medalists Impressive. are in this room tonight. We're delighted to have the Refuel Got Chocolate Milk campaign as our presenting sponsor tonight. They're committed to helping athletes from swimmers to basketball players to Ironman triathletes refuel their bodies after exercise so they can perform at their best. Let's put our hands together for Team Refuel Got Chocolate Milk. Dara Torres, Apollo Ono, Bowie Sutton, Ricky Behrens, Chris Liano, Sarah Leinerton, and Dr. Andy Baldwin. Very exciting. It's time for our first award of the evening. With a background as a top collegiate runner and an ability to climb like no one else on the planet, Ned Overend would go on to become one of the true legends of the new sport of mountain biking. In his career, he won six Norba national titles and the first ever mountain bike world championship in 1990 in Durango, Colorado. Our Endurance Live cycling legend, presented by Velo Magazine, is now 55 years old, and this year he showed that he still got it. They call him the long Mr. Ned Overend. This is an honor. It's an honor to be recognized in a room full of so many world-class athletes. I mean, the list goes on and on. I first got into endurance sports when uh, running high school track. I ran the mile. I'm a big fan of Jim Ryan. I know he's out there somewhere. And uh, there he is. Jim, I just want to thank all these promoters. And that, you know, there's so many of them. You know, you're all familiar with the events that, that have brought you into the sport of, of endurance racing. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of financial risk, there's a lot of liability, there's a lot of hard work. And, and I want to thank those guys for doing what they do. Our next award recipient had one of those days where everything just went right. At the World Mountain Bike Championships, Danny Hart ignored the cold, the rain, and rutted out conditions and he just went for it. Danny has been showboating all week in practice and looking absolutely pinned. Look at the speed of him, bro. So our endurance live performance of the year presented by singletrack.com goes to Danny Hart. Danny is in Europe racing though, so he took a little time out to tape an acceptance speech for us. I had a crazy run that day and everything went well. The team worked hard and the weather was really bad and everything just played into my hands. and. It was just a great weekend, the team worked really hard and we got the bike set up perfect for that day and everything fell into place. I was just wanting to go faster and faster and I was having so much fun and when you're having fun riding, riding well, you go fast. So that was great for me and anyway, just like to thank you for the award. Thank you. For a soft-spoken guy, what a legendary run from 19-year-old Danny Hart. We'll be right back with our Endurance Live Male Runner of the Year presented by Chewbacca. Welcome back to the 20th Annual Endurance Live Awards Gala, honoring the biggest names in running triathlon and cycling. This past year, 
He was spectacular, breaking the U.S. high school two-mile record by five seconds. In one meet, he was the winning team all by himself. He won the 1,500, the two-mile, and the 5,000. In June, he became the fifth U.S. high school runner in history to go under four minutes for the mile when he went 359.71. Please welcome the 19-year-old that we think you'll be hearing more about in the years to come, our Endurance Live Male Runner of the Year, presented by Chewbacca. Please give it up for Lucas Versbikas. I would not be here today without all the support I had, so I could say that I was truly brought up to this podium on the shoulders of giants. So I mean, I would thank God first and foremost, my most loving family, all my teammates, and you know, USA Triathlon, Bob Babbitt, and the rest of the competitor group. So I think as an athlete, I mean, you're honoring us, but I think we should honor you and thank you for all this. So thanks a lot. Now, special award. Uh, it's my honor to present the award for the Endurance Live Challenged Athlete of the Year, presented by Refuel Got Chocolate Milk. Andre Kylik was in Prague in 2003, and somehow, some way, ended up falling onto the subway tracks. He wakes up three weeks later, missing both his legs above the knee. This past year, he got into the sport of triathlon, and something clicked. He qualified for the New York City Triathlon, took second there, which qualified him for the World Championships in Beijing, where he took home the silver medal. All right, make me feel good. Is this not the fastest formal wear that you've seen tonight? Right here? You know, since the accident, my uh, community in Seattle has really treated me like a family member. Um, the Challenge Athletes Foundation has has also played a huge part in, in not just uh, my getting to, to race and, and get gear and, and uh, get to competitions, but you know, of course, numerous other athletes in my and similar positions. So I'm very fortunate and grateful uh, to be a part of the Challenge Athletes Foundation. You know, I'll tell you, when I woke up in the hospital, there was sort of this, this uh, automatic uh, hope and um, you know, this, this feeling that I still could have uh, a beautiful life. And thanks a lot for the award. I appreciate it. So, Andre, before you leave, we have a little bit of a surprise for you. We have a $5,000 grant here from the Challenge Athletes Foundation for Mr. Andre Kyla. Wow. That is beauty. <laughs> Get the lovely Ann. That's right. Andre Kylik shows us every single day that where there's a wheel, there's a way. After the break, we'll meet a runner who had a breakout season in 2011. Welcome back to the 20th Annual Endurance Live Awards Gala, honoring the biggest names in running, triathlon, and cycling. Each year we honor the outstanding performers in the running world as well. This year we had some awesome performances, but there's one particular woman who stood out. No American woman since Mary Slaney back in 1983 had won the 1500 meters at the World Championships. Jenny Simpson changed all that when she took home the gold medal and then went to New York to run the Fifth Avenue Mile. Our 2011 Endurance Live Female Runner of the Year presented by Competitor.com and a two-time Competitor Magazine cover gal, Jenny Simpson. Thanks so much for having me. I actually flew in here today from New York City where I was at the New Balance Indoor High School National Championships. And it's the roots that all of you that keep connected to that really got me involved in this sport in the, in the first place. So that example is something that I've tried to really live out. That's why I was back with high school this weekend uh, and why I continue to try to do that because the incredible example you all have set. So thank you for providing a guide map for my career and uh, hopefully we'll carry it on uh, in London this year. Thanks so much.
now my pleasure to introduce the 2011 Endurance Live Male Triathlete of the Year, presented by the Active Network. Our winner won Kona in both 2008 and 2009, but he took fourth in 2010. Going into 2011, early in the season, he is sick and he had a broken rib. He is also 38 years old, and no 38-year-old had ever won in Kona. Craig Alexander was a man on a mission. Right now, he's training for Melbourne. Couldn't be with us tonight, but he recorded an acceptance speech. Good evening, everybody. Obviously, I can't be with you in person there tonight, but I have donned my finest attire in honour of the occasion. It goes without saying that it's a huge honour, particularly in light of, I think, the depth of talent that's out there at the moment and, and some of the other performances that were turned in uh, over these past 12 months. So thank you very much. I, I very much appreciate the recognition. Um, it was an interesting 12 months. It wasn't always smooth sailing. It started very rocky with, with the, the virus and then the broken ribs. And, and also there was the fact that I, I sort of took the risk of changing the way I raced, which, you know, whenever there's risk, there's always reward though. And I, I feel personally that's why it turned into such a, a rewarding season. As is mostly the case, there's a lot of people behind the scenes who do a lot of the work. And I'd like to thank those people for their continued support. Um, obviously, always with my family first and um, their support is very much appreciated and uh, something that I can't do without, so thank you. What a stellar month from the now three-time Ironman world champion, Craig Alexander. After the break, we'll meet a celebrity athlete that we all know on a first name basis. Welcome back to the 20th Annual Endurance Live Awards Gala, honoring the biggest names in running, triathlon, and cycling. This year's Endurance Live Celebrity Athlete of the yes. Year, presented by Competitor.com, is a very special one. He is the most decorated U.S. Winter Olympian in history, having won eight Olympic medals in short track speed skating. But since his last Olympic medal, Apollo Anton Ono has been busy winning Dancing with the Stars and appearing on a variety of TV shows. Please welcome our Celebrity Athlete of the Year, presented by Competitor.com, Apollo Anton Ono. I have a great appreciation for endurance athletes. You know, I, I grew up in the Colorado Springs Olympic Training Centers. I, I trained with the triathlon guys, and uh, I just saw the amount of work and, and pain and, and agony these guys went through, and, and time and dedication. And uh, there was somewhat of a, a I, I was always a little bit envious of these guys. You know, they, they would come back from these long runs and these long uh, uh, training cycles, and they, I would see the amount of food these guys would eat. And then I would look at their body types, and I'm like, this guy's got it made, man. He can eat whatever he wants, and he looks like a Greek god. This is fantastic, right? I, I, need, to get a, I need to get on this. This is fantastic. Uh, you know, Bob, we, we, you know, he, he gave me a book uh, when, when we did an event a couple months ago, and it's a beautiful Iron Man book, and inside had all these beautiful pictures, and I'm going through this book, I'm going through this book, I'm like, man, this is amazing. And then I turn the page, and it says, Hey, Apollo, see you, in, see you at Kona 2013. I'm like, oh, that's kind of funny. I think I might just have to go and spectate. <laughs> Maybe that's what he was talking about. Yeah. But either way, this is, a, this is an honor to be here. Um, uh, you know, there's so many wonderful and incredible people in, in the audience. And uh, just, just thank you. So thank you. Iron Man 2013. <laughs> Speaking of Iron Man. She's never lost an Ironman distance event in her life. 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 This summer, she broke her own course record at Quell Challenge Roth, going 8-18-13, finished fifth overall. Please welcome the now four-time Ironman world champion, our Endurance Live female triathlete of the year, presented by Tier, the amazing Chrissy Wellington. You know, before I took up this sport, I was an underpaid and overworked civil servant, and now I'm an underpaid and overworked professional triathlete. And um, it's been a, an amazing, amazing five years, and it culminated um, in a very, very special year last year. Um, the highlight of my career um, has to be that I've just continually defied everything that I've ever thought was possible for me to achieve. 
um, both mentally and physically. I think we all set preconceived limits on ourselves, um, myself included, and and each stage along the way of this amazing journey, I've somehow managed to, to defy those limits. And no more so was that true than at, than at Kona last year. And I also want to use this opportunity to give a very special mention to a very special friend. And that's my amazing coach, Dave Scott. Um, without his uh, emotional support, I wouldn't have been on that line. And... His expertise, but his friendship means more to me than he could ever realize. So thank you so much, Dave. Um, thank you to you all for this amazing honor. I appreciate it so much. It was an emotional day and year for the great Chrissy Wellington. After the break, we'll return with the final award of the evening, the competitor of the year, presented by Refuel Got Chocolate Milk. Welcome back to the 20th Annual Endurance Live Awards Gala, honoring the biggest names in running triathlon and cycling. It is now our pleasure to present the final award of the evening, the 2010 Competitor of the Year Award. This is presented to the athlete that best exhibits not only athletic ability, but character and fortitude. Going into the Olympic marathon trials, a number of experts felt that the 2004 Olympic silver medalist was too old to make the 2012 team, especially since he just ran the New York City Marathon 69 days earlier. But Meb Kobleski has a habit of proving people wrong. He also set his second personal best in the span of a little more than two months. Our Endurance Live Competitor of the Year, presented by Refuel Got Chocolate Milk, Meb Kowalski. I gotta write a speech. This is too special. Thank you, it is a pleasure to be here with you tonight. It is a great honor to receive this award and this recognition. In 2009, I not only won the New York City Marathon, but my gold, my gold medal in my Olympics. About two months ago, I competed for, an, for a chance to represent the USA again at the Olympic Games. For an elite athlete, it is tough, to, tough enough to run two marathons a year, so I knew I had asking a lot out of my body. A lot of people criticized me for running two competitive marathons so close to one another. My rationale, I have done it before, and I believe I could do it again. My confidence came from pulling off a tougher double in 2004 in the same amount of time. Yes, I was eight years younger then, but I, ha I am also eight years wiser and stronger today. Now I speak to you as the oldest marathon trial winner in US history. How does one achieve what some people may consider impossible or improbable? You have to believe in what you're doing, and you have to surround yourself with positive and knowledgeable people. You have to keep go working hard and smarter. Four years ago, I sat down in my living room watching the 2008 Beijing Olympics. This year, I became the first track and field qualifier for 2012 Olympic Games. I'm so relieved to make the team and have plenty of time to prepare for my race on August 12th. I look forward to representing the USA the best that I can, as I did in 2000 and 2004, and as I do try to do it every day of my life. In closing, I would like to encourage each one of you to keep believing and competing to the best that you can be. Compete to overcome. Compete to win. Thank you very much. Bob, this has been a terrific evening highlighted by some amazing athletes and their amazing performances. All right, before we get going, I want to thank Refuel Got Chocolate Milk, where you guys at, for believing in Endurance Live. Coming on board is our presenting sponsor, the Active Network, Tier, Chewbacca, 
And a huge thank you to Ambrose Salmini and Salmini Films, Rich Jane and Away's Video, and of course the amazing Peter Henning in the Iron Man for their awesome footage. I want to thank all of you for being here for the 20th anniversary of Endurance Live, presented by Refuel Got Chocolate Milk. Keep an eye out for our Universal Sports show, and thank you all for being here. But before we go, I know, Bob, you like to have the last word, which is why I don't have the last word on the teleprompter. Go ahead. Um, well, I think we're all here, and we all know why we're here. And that's because this guy right here has done a lot for endurance sports. Oh, Annie. Thank you. That's very nice of you. We didn't make it 20 years for these awards without you. And so we would like to take this moment to honor you and all that you've given us. And we would like to present you with an award for doing an outstanding job representing the endurance athletes. Really? The so I get an award? I want something! I win! joining us at the 20th Annual Endurance Live Awards Gala. We sure had a great time looking back at 2011 and reliving some of the greatest athletic moments and honoring the athletes that made it such an exciting year. From all of us at Club Nokia, we hope you had a wonderful time as well and we can't wait to see you next year.